channel today we are tackling this closet behind me we are switching everything over from our summer stuff to our winter stuff because it's getting super super cold now in Canada so we got to switch it around and give it a good clean and organize for the season ahead so come on and let's clean together It's not too bad. The last time I cleaned this was, I believe, in May, and you should have seen it before. I'll link that video. But it's just starting to get a little disorganized, and it's better to do it before it gets horrible. So I'm going to start by taking everything out and going through all the coats and seeing what we actually wear. We don't have a basement in this house, so I actually don't put away any of our summery coats or anything like that. The only thing I do, like I did here, is I switch over this bench which has storage in it. So here's all of our winter stuff and then in the bench right now is some summer stuff. So we are gonna get going, take everything out and we actually have the donation people today. So. We want to see if we can donate any of these, make some space, give someone a coat who is in need. to do when I'm tackling a closet is remove all of the items. It's only when I remove everything that I really get a sense of what items I don't need because I have to intentionally put them back. So I am removing everything, even items I know I'm going to end up keeping. And this is also a great way to make sure that you do the actual cleaning, not just organizing. This front hall closet has gotten so dirty over the last six months and it was really time to give everything a good scrub, vacuum, dust, you name it. The phrase, it gets worse before it gets better, definitely rings true for me. The front hall just looked like a disaster. And inside the closet didn't look too much better. There were a lot of cobwebs, marks on the white, um, the white walls, and just dirt. Just lots and lots of dirt. So that's my next job, cleaning everything before I put anything back in. So I start with a vacuum, do all of the mats, all of the shelving, and then I'm gonna just take my Myers, I have the peppermint scent because we're getting closer to the holidays, and just wipe everything down. And I use a magic eraser on the walls. And always when you're using a magic eraser, they're amazing, but always have a, another cloth that you can use to wipe after you use the magic eraser because if not you'll notice that there'll be dirty drip marks all the way down your walls especially if you have white walls like I do so just a little tip there to have an extra cloth with you
you're going to see me talking to someone off camera that is my fiance and we're just going through all of his shoes, hats, everything and I just ask him if he's still going to wear it or what things he would like to donate. We did notice with toques, he has about 20 toques still. So we couldn't narrow it down too much further than that this time around, but I always just like to hold everything up for him so that he can really understand what items he hasn't even touched in a few years and what things are starting to look like they could be moved on to a better home, everything like that. So that's who I'm chatting with when I am talking off camera. bench storage we had all of our summer activities like bocce ball we had footballs frisbees wetsuits since we are on the water anything like that so I took all of that out and I basically put all that summer stuff into the bin that was storing the hats and mitts during the summer and just basically switch it over. And here you'll see me again talking to Kyle about how many hats he has and which ones actually fit and which ones he actually wears. So that is what I'm doing there and we made really great progress. There were dog leashes in this basket, so many different things. And like that's odd for us because we don't have a dog. So it was just a good chance to reorganize and ask ourselves where things actually should be. got rid of over 10 pairs of shoes that I no longer wear mostly summer shoes that are just looking really really worn and they they just couldn't have lasted another season so I got rid of those and then it was time to put back our coats so how I organized it was from the lightest jackets being furthest to the right side where it's harder to get into and then the jackets that we are more likely to wear often during the season up at the front. Since we don't have a basement, we don't take any of the coats out of the closet. There's plenty of room in here. It's just a matter of reorganizing it so the coats that we wear during that season are accessible.
I'm just vacuuming and giving the front hall a quick mop to make sure any of the debris that came out while I was sorting through the clothes and the shoes is completely gone and then I'm going to show you the transformation photo and if you love tap to clean photos like these ones head on over to at after tap on Instagram and that is what I post on my stories almost daily here we go we've come a far away and not a lot of time so let's start with the bench. First off, the hook is completely empty, which is nice. I know it won't last, but it's nice. We will start off with the bench. We've got hats, our winter running gear and biking gear, and then scarves. And that used to be all of our summer activities, so that's good. And I also did all the baseboards, wiped everything down, and then wiped down all these ledges in our doors as well. And now here is the closet. So here's an overview to start. It looks so much better. I put all of our lighter coats over at the back since we won't be wearing them as often. And then here are all of our winter coats and I kind of just did them in color coding and also sent off a couple to the dry cleaners that needed it. Then down here, I switched out these shoes to the ones we will wear the most often in the winter. So we've got my boots at the bottom, then we've got our running shoes, and then my everyday winter boots and Kyle's everyday winter boots. Then on this side, I've kept this blanket slash mat under here. This is when we have um, friends over with dogs. We just have this dog mat here that they can use to kind of make them comfortable and then we have one basket of um, shopping bags I put the other basket out in the car because we didn't need that many in here and we always forget them then over here we have some of Kyle's shoes and I know there's still sandals there but it's because Kyle often will throw those on and I know that's kind of crazy but he'll throw those on in the winter here is all my scarves and what are they called? Like poncho things? So that's quite full. I think I need to donate more, but little steps because I did donate some and I just, I don't know, I was having a hard time donating today. And then in here we've got our hats and our mitts and I think that's it. Hats, mitts, and such. And that is a new basket. I couldn't find a matching one because I believe these two are actually from Ikea. So I found this one at Canadian Tire, but it works. I put it in the middle so that it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that. And then in the top, we have some masks, some, um, well that's Boot Rescue, but we've got hand sanitizer, masks, umbrellas, a, um, what is that, coat cleaner sticky thing, and then like a whole bunch of those hand heaters. They're just up at the front here. I love this one because it's reusable and it's a little Christmas snowman getting totally in the spirit. So that's stuff that we need to grab more often. And then on this shelf I have my bags that I'm using right now and some more of like more of my fall shoes but I think I can still wear some of those. So that is everything. It is a lot emptier but I'm loving it. Oh, and then over here, I made sure all of the wood ones were clear. I would love to have all wood ones eventually. Those ones are just plastic, but the wood ones are clear because those are guest ones. So I will just, if we have guests over, push this to the side so that they know they can hang up their coats there or I can hang their coats up there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration to switch over your front hall closet for winter and get those coats to the dry cleaners now. Even if you're not wearing those parkas yet, it is time because I know last year I put it off and it took three weeks to get my winter coat back. So do it now before you actually need it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.